bronzer that I grab when I want to look like I don't have bronzer on my skin. So for the non-makeup wearer out there, whatever your skin tone is, find a bronzer that looks so natural on you that nobody would detect it. And also those bronzers are going to be the easiest to apply on your skin. So if you have no skill with blending bronzers on your skin and you don't really know where to start as far as like placement goes, if you get a bronzer that's too obvious or too dark or too orangey for your complexion, let's just say, or like the wrong undertone in general, it's going to be so obvious and you're going to want to avoid that completely. Just don't wear bronzer. So I'd rather you wear no bronzer than a bad bronzer that's not the right tone or color for your skin. So if you're feeling frisky and you want to delve into a little bit of a natural bronzer, let me show you how to do that for the non-makeup wear. So take a natural bronzer. I do prefer a matte one because it just looks, again, more natural. So avoid one that has a lot of shimmer in it because it's just going to be too much if you're doing that glowy sunscreen underneath. You don't want to be like glitter, shimmer, glitter, shimmer. It's just too much. You want to have balance. Now for a natural application, I want to talk about brush. Take a big fluffy brush. A big fluffy brush is going to be your best friend for a natural bronzer application because it's going to give you a really soft wash of color that's going to just go all over instead of having a small brush. Now let's just say, for example, you're going to use a brush that's around this size, this density. When you go to put this on, it's going to deposit a really heavy amount of product and it's not going to be fluffy where it's going to just blend it out really naturally. It's just going to sit on your skin. You're going to have to work really hard to blend it out to make it look natural. Now, if you take a fluffy brush like this, which which please excuse the fact that it has product on it. I use this just for a previous tutorial, but I'm going to use it for this tutorial because it's a great size for this application. So I'm going to take the brush, dip in, tap off the excess always. Now for the non-makeup wear out there, you want to start on the top of your forehead. Just go sweep, sweep. Nothing crazy. Sweep, sweep. Gentle pressure. I'm not going and like buffing it on, like being really aggressive, just light pressure, sweeping it back and forth. Now, as far as the placement goes with a bronzer, with any bronzer, if you're going for like a super intense look, or if you're going for like a really natural look, you still want to keep in mind this rule of thumb. You want to keep in mind applying it in the areas that the sun would naturally hit you. So across your forehead, tap it on the top of your cheek, just like the high point, just to give it a little more warmth. Tap, tap, tap. Now I'm tapping in this spot because I'm going over that cream blush. So I can't really do that swirly swirl because it's going to lift that cream product up. So I'm changing my technique and I'm just tapping it on with whatever's left over. I'm just going to go sweep, sweep, done. Like that's it. That's all you need. If you want to get a little crazy, you could always bring it down your neck. Just saying, totally optional. If you want to just warm up your neck and see so you have like a pale neck, you could just throw it down the side of your neck really easy. Avoid the center. That's where it's obvious. Just do the sides and then you're done. Now, the reason why powdering your eyelids like I did earlier was so important is because now we're going to take that same natural bronzer. We're going to switch to a fluffy brush. This is just a BK Beauty 212 brush. Any blending brush is going to work fine for this technique. So just take a blending brush. You're going to dip into your natural bronzer. Tap off the excess. Looking straight into a mirror. You just want to do a nice, gentle windshield wiper motion. So just going straight back and forth, just warming up the crease of your eye. And what this is going to do is just, it's going to give your eyes a nice flattering wash of color. It's going to bring them out in a really, really natural way, like almost to the point where it's undetectable. But once I finish this side, I'll show you the difference. So I'm only going to go in about, I've only dipped into that bronzer about three times and I've just used very light pressure, nothing crazy. I'm just sweeping it back and forth. And then look at the difference of just adding that little bit of bronzer on this side versus no bronzer on this side. Same technique. This is my more hooded eye. So I have to go much higher up in the placement just to even them out. Cause the crease of this eye is hooded. So same thing, windshield wiper motion. I've dipped in about three times into that bronzer, just going back and forth. Super easy, like anybody can do this. And it's just a great way to give your eyes some really natural definition. So 
no makeup makeup type look. We're done with bronzer. We can like put it away. We can move on. Now I want to throw in something that is not going to be for everyone, but you know, depending on what your comfort level is or what kind of look you really are going for, but this is still for like the non-makeup wears. This is something that I recommend for anyone who wants just a really natural, easy color that they can just throw on their eyelids with their fingertips or their brush and be done. So this is a shade that's gonna be really good for anyone who's my complexion or lighter or a little bit deeper. They do make deeper shades in this formula. This is a Chanel cream eyeshadow. This is the shade Undertone, which Undertone, can you tell I like this eyeshadow? Undertone is just a beautiful, natural beige, like a warm tone beige. It's so subtle, it's so beautiful. And I always suggest this for my non-makeup wearers out there. And like I said, you could either use your fingertip, you can dip into it. This only works if you have short nails, just FYI. Okay, so now I got some on my fingertip. I'm gonna show you on this eye. I'm just gonna pat, pat. It's natural, keep that in mind. You're not gonna see this huge amount of color. Okay, now I'm gonna use the brush on this other side just so you can see how easy it is. Pat, pat, pat. Keeping it on my eyelid. But you can see that this easily, easily just blends right into, I'm just gonna finish this side with my brush because it's, it's just my preferred method. But you can see this blend so easily into that bronzer. It's cohesive, it's natural. It's your eyes, but there's a little something there that helps to bring them out. So I'm telling you for that non-makeup wearer, just do a nice cream natural shadow. And you can apply with your fingertips, quick and easy, just tap, tap, tap like you saw, or you can put it on with a brush. You don't have to have any skill. You really have to have zero skill to put that on. Okay, now for the non-makeup wearer, for the person that does not want to wear makeup and does not have the skill or the wherewithal, avoid eyeliners. Just avoid them. There's no point. I'm gonna show you how to get really easy, really quick definition on your eyes without having to get out a pencil or liquid eyeliners that are really intimidating or gel eyeliners, even worse, even more intimidating. Just avoid it. Avoid the heartache. Just avoid it and instead pick up a dark brown shadow. Now, depending on what your skin tone is, you're gonna have to cater it to that. For me, that dark brown that I love the most for a really natural makeup look, just one of them, I should say, is from this Kaja Bento box. They're eyeshadow trio, so you get three different eyeshadows, but the darkest one is this really pretty and super, super neutral brown. So you can see it's neutral, right? It's like a it's like dark brown, It's not it's not super dark, it's pretty natural, so. It's gonna be easy to put on. It's not gonna be too intense. It's not too red. It's not too cool tone. It's like right there in the middle, which is perfect for my complexion for a, a no makeup makeup look. So I'm gonna use this. Instead of taking like an intimidating angle brush or something like that, I'm gonna get a smudger brush. And I hope this is less intimidating for you. I think that it's less intimidating personally. So instead of having that sharp angle where you can kind of mess up a little more, it's just soft. So it's gonna give you a nice soft, application with your eyeshadow. I'm just gonna take that smudger brush. I'm gonna dip into the dark brown. Before I put this on, I'm gonna tap off the excess so I don't end up having shadow fallout on my natural face. Now here's where you wanna just slow it down a little bit. So take that eyeshadow and don't worry about doing a wing. You're not here to impress someone with a wing. You know, you're not going for that. You're just going for some soft definition on your eyes just to make them pop and to bring them out. This is especially important like if you're someone who wears glasses, like eyeglasses to see, um, you wanna be able to see your eyes underneath the, your glasses. So just by having like that soft bit of shadow, you don't have to do eyeliner or anything crazy. You don't have to put false eyelashes on, just frame your eyes and just enhance them a little bit with some soft definition using a dark brown shadow. This is gonna be so quick, so easy. So taking that, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm just gonna press this really close to my lash line, that's it. I'm not gonna go back and forth. I'm not even dragging it across my lash line. I'm just using small and slow tapping motions. Now, you can pull it out a little bit in the outer corner. You know me, I can't help but give myself like a little hint of a wing. That's totally up to you and what you feel like you're gonna, you know, what you feel comfortable with as far as like your your ability with this. But if you wanna start in baby steps and just line right by your lash line, and then work your way up to that, that's totally fine too. 
I'm gonna dip in to get a little more, tap off the excess, and just press a little bit more in the outer corner because I want the outer corner to just be subtly darker and just tapered very slightly as it goes towards the inner part of my lash line. That way it's not one big thick line from inner corner to outer corner. You want to still have like a slight taperedness to your eyeliner because it's gonna be a more flattering way to wear it. So this eye is pretty much done. It doesn't have to be anything else but this. Like you just, you can leave it at this and that's beautiful. It's soft. It brings out your eyes. It's gonna define your eyes in a really nice natural way. So moving on to this eye. Same thing, I'm just gonna close my eye gently. I'm not like squinting really hard. So just softly close your eye. Just tap, tap, tap. I pulled out a little bit, just like I did the other side. Tapering it as I go in and just tapping. Now, that's it. You don't have to do the bottom lash line. I'm just gonna point it out there in case you did wanna do it. What I would suggest you do instead of doing that dark brown that I just showed you, you can go back to your bronzer, which is gonna be a very, very natural tone. And just so you have this in your mind, in case you wanna throw this into your no makeup makeup routine, I wanna show you just so you know how easy it can be. So I'm just gonna take a pencil brush from BK Beauty, it's a 210 brush. I'm gonna dip into that same really natural bronzer and I'm going to lightly and very gently go back and forth only about three quarters of the way on my bottom lash line. You can see I'm, I'm not going this last quarter in because it's gonna be, it'll be just too much. But this is a very, very soft, natural way to define your bottom lash line. This is also ideal if you're someone who does not want to wear bottom mascara. A lot of people don't because they don't want to have that look. It could be a little too much. It could also run throughout the day, which is a huge problem and huge issue. So if you have that problem in the past, I would just say avoid bottom mascara because it's better to have no mascara on your bottom lash line than have smudgy, runny, messy mascara on your bottom lash line. But to give your eyes that little bit of soft definition, just take that bronzer, pop it under your eye, and then call it good. Now, if you're handy with a lash curler, this is when you wanna bust it out. If you're a non-makeup wearer, but you still wanna have your eyes be open with minimal amount of makeup, this is a great tool to utilize. So if you're if you're into it and you wanna do it, by all means, grab a lash curler and curl your lashes. If this is not for you and you don't feel like you need to, or you just have naturally curled lashes on your own, you can totally skip this part. But I'm gonna curl my lashes. This is the Shiseido lash curler. Pinch, 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 and then repeat on this side. The pinch, pinch, and then pinch. That's it. Doesn't have to be crazy. Now, talking about mascaras, let's talk about mascaras. For the non-makeup wear out there, don't go for a messy formula. Avoid formulas that are extreme, dramatic, super wet, um, chaotic. <laughs> Avoid all those mascara formulas and just find one that is just straightforward. And to me, the first one that pops in my mind as far as like straightforward formulas, I think anybody could wear and anybody could benefit from. This one from EXA, it's the 1018 Lash Amplifying Mascara is great. Like a really great, it's a newer formula. It's a newer brand, I believe. Um, they're an indie brand, but this formula is fantastic. It's one of the easiest formulas, I think, to build on your lashes. It doesn't clump easily unless you like really pack it on. But the reason why I really love it is because it's a cream formula. So I'm gonna take the wand, I'm gonna flip my arm. I'm gonna get to the root and then pull up. And then I'm gonna start to just blink down onto the wand. So I'm gonna kind of hold it still. You can see I'm just blinking onto that mascara. Now I'm gonna use a different motion. I'm gonna wiggle it back and forth, get into the root. If you're a non-makeup wearer, you're not gonna wanna, you're not gonna wanna pile on coat after coat. In fact, I'm just taking my fingertips and I'm gonna lightly grab any excess that I don't want in the inner corner of my eye. So just a soft amount. I'm gonna wiggle it back and forth at the root and then I'm gonna start to blink. And then one more thing, as far as the technique goes, you wanna make sure that you're really depositing the most of this product at the root of your lashes 
and not at the tip. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna do the bottom lashes. I don't think it's realistic. I don't think that's something that someone who is a non-makeup wearer that's going for like a really, really natural, minimalistic way to wear their makeup, I don't think it's necessary. So I'm gonna skip that. I feel confident, I feel good because I have that little bit of natural shading on my bottom lash line with that bronzer. So I'm good to go, but to each their own. If you wanna add it, of course you can. But I wanna to touch on brows and how quickly and easily you can fill in your brows if you are someone who is, you know, looking for something just really natural and a really easy way to fill in their brows where it's not super obvious. So if that's the case, I want you to avoid pencils and instead go for either a tinted brow gel or if you are someone who's blessed with bushy, beautiful, full Brooke Shields type eyebrows, then skip the tint because you're not gonna need it and go for just a clear brow gel just to groom them and tame them and to keep them in place. That's all you're gonna need. But for the people out there that are like me who want like a tint and want some like thickness and volume brought into their brows for like people who have sparse brows, I would do one of these. Now, one's super duper cheap, one's a lot more expensive. It's the Benefit Gimme Brow. And then I have the Wow Brow from e.l.f. e.l.f. is only four bucks. I'm not saying that you should buy one over the other. It's just, I wanna give you like two options in case one tickles your fancy more. This is the one that I have in my brows right now. I'm just gonna add a little extra just so I can kind of show you what it looks like. It's the same exact formula basically. So here we have the Benefit brush, which is actually even smaller. I actually prefer a slightly bigger one. I have more, I just get more of this one. I prefer it. This one's a little bit bigger, the e.l.f. one. So I'm gonna show you what the e.l.f. one does on one of my brows. This is in dark brown, I believe. And what I like to do as someone who has like extremely sparse brows, I like to take the tip of the wand, which has the most amount of product on it and most bit of fibers. And I like to just push it up. I've been obsessed with this brow wow. I think this is my third one that I'm on. In fact, I need to do an updated empties video because I have so many new empties since the last time I shot one. But you can see that gives you color, lift, fullness within seconds. It's so, so easy. Now, tinted brow gels are also amazing. If you're someone who has some grays growing into your brows and you wanna disguise them, you wanna camouflage them, get a tinted brow gel, it will, it will just fix all your problems. It's so, so easy. Now, let me show you the Gimme Brow just so you can see it. This is in the shade five, it's like a dark brown. It's pretty close to this in tone. Might be a teen bit deeper. I'm gonna use the same technique. I'm gonna push it up into my brows. This is just the technique that I think works the best. Like I said, if you have sparse brows, using the tip is a game changer. Okay, so brows are filled in. This one's just a more wet formula. This one's much more dry. I think this is just easier to work with, in my opinion. Okay, now we've reached the lips. We're onto the lips. And this is where you can totally interchange any of the things I'm about to show you and any of the ideas I'm gonna give you right now. This is totally subject to change and based on like what your preference is. But I'm gonna pick back up my Nude 6 Cream Blush because this is gonna double as such a beautiful, quick, easy, and beyond natural lipstick. So I'm gonna take that. I'm just gonna push it on my lips, that's it. You can use a brush if you want, you can do whatever technique you wanna do. I think this is just easy just to pat it on. So I'm gonna pat it on, and just press it into my lip. I'm not even gonna blend it off my fingertips, I don't need to, it's a really natural color. I'm gonna swipe it a little bit on the top. Okay, now I wanted to show you some of my favorite options for a really, really natural lip. Some are pricey, some are dirt cheap, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover all the grounds. So, now one of the first ones I wanna show you is this Girlactic Jello Gloss Balm. All these are gonna be linked in the description box below so you can pick and choose like, you know, which one is gonna suit your needs more. But this is gonna be like the Chapstick Lovers lipstick. So this is gonna be like the ideal lipstick for someone who is like an avid chapstick wearer that they can't live without their chapstick, like their Burt's Bees or chapstick brand, whatever you do. So this is for that person specifically. So if you wanna like, up the ante a little bit. This is one of my favorite ones. This is the Barely Nude, and it's just a beautiful, natural, like almost like a peachy nude. So pretty. This brand makes a whole bunch of different colors too, so you can go on the website and choose whatever one, you know, suits your skin tone and what your what kind of look you're going for. But this is just a great option for someone who doesn't wanna wear a lipstick, someone who doesn't wanna wear a sticky gloss, someone who doesn't wanna do like a makeup makeup on their lips. My next option, is the one I'm actually gonna put on. It's, it's probably my favorite out of all these. No, actually, these are my two favorites. These are definitely my two favorites. But this is the Notorium Fido Glow Lip Balm in the shade Petal. They have all kinds of different shades. There's one called Jam that's like absolutely stunning on deeper skin tones. It's this beautiful, rich berry. 
This one on my skin is just a perfect everyday natural pink. So it's kind of like my lip color, but enhanced. It just goes to my lips. It looks kind of like, it's just effortless, like easy and effortless. So these are a, a conditioning lip balm basically, but they have a tint. So let me show you what this looks like on my hand just so you can see. So that's petal and you know, again, it's not gonna be sticky. So if you're someone who doesn't wanna wear a sticky lip gloss, these are gonna be so ideal for you. I promise you. Now, if you're looking for something that's really inexpensive, really inexpensive, where you're gonna save some money, but you're still gonna get a beautiful outcome and it's still a beautiful look to your lips. These from e.l.f. are literally where it's at. They're the Hydrating Core Lip Shine. This is the shade Happy that I have. I got this for an e.l.f. Cosmetics full face tutorial and I've used it so many times ever since. It's really nice. Stays put on your lips. It's natural. It's such a great dupe for like the high-end hydrating lip balms that are on the market. I'm gonna swatch this one next. It's actually much more of a natural tone, but that's the e.l.f. right there. Hydrating, like I said, incredibly inexpensive. I think these are $6. This is inexpensive too. This is like $10, I believe. They'll all be linked so you can check the prices. Don't quote me too hard. I might be wrong on some of them. Now, if you wanna go a little fancier, <laughs> I have two options from Givenchy that are really nice. So if you wanna go treat yourself and you wanna feel like some luxury on your lips, I highly recommend either of these. So this one right here, it's the 001 Liquid Balm. So it's just like a liquid, it, it's kind of like a similar format to this, but with a, like a doe foot applicator. I'm gonna swatch it now so you can see the color. But look how pretty that is. That's the Givenchy right here. So this will obviously give you a brighter pink um, this also looks just stunning on deeper skin tones. If you want to like naturally enhance the pink in your lip, this is so pretty. Now, if you if you want to take it the next step up, also from Givenchy, this is more like this is more like the really expensive version of this, but with more pigment, if that makes sense. So I'm just trying to give you like a bunch of really good options, different price points, slightly variations in like pigment and stuff. But this is also extremely nourishing, extremely like balmy uncomfortable feeling on your lips. It's not like a traditional lipstick. It might look like it is, but trust me, it's not. So this is the Rose Perfecto Lip Balm in 201. I'm gonna swatch it right here. This smells like heaven. It smells so good. So I'm gonna swatch it right here. It's just beautiful. So this is the Rose Perfecto 201. And they have different shades in this too. So if you want a deeper one or a lighter one, they have tons of different shades. Well, not tons, but they have different shades to choose from. So these are like, a good range of different finishes. Some are less pigmented, some are more pigmented like I just showed you. I think to finish off this look, to keep it like really authentic to when I want to wear like a no makeup makeup look, I usually go for petal. So I'm gonna put petal on, use my fingertips. I'm just gonna pat this on, feels so nice. These are not uh, lip glosses, they're like lip conditioners. They're not sticky, which is the whole reason why I even pointed these out. These are specifically for my no makeup makeup wears. Otherwise, I could have just shown you a really pretty natural lipstick color and a gloss and you'd be like, well, I'm not someone who wears makeup, so thanks, but no thanks. So these are for you. I know that there's one for you. Out of all these to choose from, there's definitely one that you'll love. So that wraps up this step-by-step -step guide on how to do your makeup for the non-makeup wear. These are not the most traditional techniques and tips, but I promise you, I know firsthand these are some really helpful techniques that I have shared with both my followers on Instagram through DM and also in real life. And I, I know that they're gonna help you out so much. If you try any of these techniques out or any of these products out, leave me a comment. I would love to know how they work out for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more makeup videos like this one or more glam tutorials, you can check this one out right here and I'll see you all soon. Bye.